Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Um, in this video, hopefully, we'll go from uh, stages 5 to t stages 10. Oh, sorry, stages Hell 6 to stages 10 uh, in the uh, Rift Odyssey event. Um, now, uh, this is the team that I have been using. Now, let's go ahead and have a look at some other lineups as well that people have been using. So, it looks like uh, a lot of people have been using the Avengers uh, lineup, um, specifically having... Um, Sal and Lachesis in there. Um, they've also gone with three Dooms. So let's go ahead and just. Um, no, I, I want to use Wukong in this. I, I know, I know, but I want to use him. He's he's a new unit. I'm I'm not going to get to use him very often after this season. I suspect he's just going to sort of sit in the back row of the Ethereals team, finishing off after Eudora. Um, so let's jump in. Uh, let's use this and let's stick with this uh, this te this same team team set up here um, because we're not changing teams uh, I don't suspect I'll need to um, I don't expect we'll have too much of an issue um, but we'll we'll just have to see now I do like the combo of chest and gourd uh, I have been looking at it uh, within um, a different team so the the team set up outside of seasonal synergy um, for me uh, is Dahlia Astrid, Atrops, Wukong, um, and Serafina. And the reason for that uh, is because I really do want this three star, uh, this three star gourd. Because when this three, when this this gourd, if we get a double activation of it, so if we get a double activation of the gourd, um, well, that's a nice combo at the front. Um, so if we get a double activation of the gourd. Um, which will double the buffs twice. Um, plus, you've got Astrid uh, copying or allowing Atrops to perform her ultimate twice. Effectively, the first time that Astrid does it, if the Gord has triggered twice, um, she will be applying four stacks of her attack, and then she'll uh, do it again, and that's another four stacks. So, you know, there's going to be absolutely ludicrous damage. I, I I promise you, it's going to be absolutely ludicrous that that sort of damage that we'll see uh, with the gourd. Uh, and if you have the the chest to proc it in the first place, it's going to be absolutely mental. It really will. I I can promise you, it's going to be absolutely. The teams you're going to see it on are going to be ballistic. You're going to get through uh, PVE events absolutely no problem. So we'll just see what sort of damage Wukong is doing here, and if um, the Mystifiers team uh, are going to pose an issue. It doesn't look like it, to be fair. We didn't get too much splash damage there, unfortunately. Uh, Sal able to do a respectable 2,000 million as well. Again, if we if we were getting up to rounds 10 to rounds 15, um, I think without the monkey, um, it would make it a lot, uh, a lot more difficult. So we would be getting up to that rounds um, 15. So, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, and Sal would be doing much, much more damage. I've seen him do um, sort of 100,000 with his... Uh, sorry, 100 million with his... Oh, who did we lose? Oh, we lost, um, we lost Talos. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe it is. Maybe we do need to change. Um, but, again, we'll, we'll see if Wukong can pull through. Would be nice to have... Uh, yeah, it would be nice. Would be nice not to have this uh, be a fail, and we can just sail straight through. Um, but again, that's not that's not the purpose of the hell difficulty. I remember the first time I tried it, there was just absolutely no chance. Um, he just he just does so many basic attacks. Oh, stun! Two round stun from t uh, from the enemy Talos. That's a real pain. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the healing up as well. Look at all this damage we're losing out on as well. All this damage right here. Uh, but we do have uh, Wukong in the back row. So we'll just see how much, uh, how much damage he's able to uh, put out later on. Fortunately, Sal able to start building up. So as you can see, um, every time he re receives healing, um, he's building up his attack and defense. So potentially having him in the front slot is going to be very good for us. 
We'll just have to see though. So we can here back up to sort of the 18 million mark, um, and then 19 million with his basic attack. Uh, unfortunately, no crit there, but he is doing the majority of the work on this one. They do a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, Sal up to 16 million though. And that's what I mean. So he he does build up. Like the more he heals, um, the higher his attack will be. Still not out damaging Wukong though. 34 million on a basic. That's why we put the Avengers Relic in there. Oh, that was a miss. That would have... Yeah. <sighs> powerful. Powerful stuff. What a monkey. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. I bet Eudora's got to finish things off in like two rounds. That's going to be mental. I don't know. I, I, I don't know who, who's stronger for me, Dahlia or Eudora. The problem is, with Eudora, you need her red runes. And that takes, you know, sort of six months to build up. Yeah, oh, he's not swapping anymore, but not required. But again, Eudora takes six months to build up properly. And there's just no no real way of obtaining it. Like, you get her in login. Um, so you will get her as um, a login reward from, I think it's day 110. Uh, and ask her it out straight away, of course. Um, but you get her as a login reward uh, for day 110 of login, I believe. But then after that, radio silence. There's absolutely no other way besides summoning for it in Oath Recall. You can occasionally... Uh, yeah, if you if you are super lucky, um, you can pick up a copy of Eudora from the shards, and that could be. I saw today. Um, in fact, uh, somebody on the the Discord posted that they pulled uh, Eudora from the. Uh, so they pulled Eudora from the epic shards. Uh, so she is available in there, but it's very few and very far between. So, just something to. Um, just something to keep in mind. She is available through there, but the only other way, really, um, is to go through uh, the Oath Recall event, and it's only once every two months that she appears on that Oath Recall banner. Um, so it can be a very... It, it can be a very um, difficult to obtain her, which is why I think Dahlia... For me, Dahlia is, is better. And we get the triple ult again uh, from Atrops. So this is going to be crazy amounts of damage if we get this splash effect. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Massive damage. Yeah, but again, she's just so difficult to get. If she was if she was available in the Oracle shop, um, then yeah, absolutely. I think that. Um, yeah, I think that I think that Eudora would clinch it as the um, the better unit. And w what I mean by that is, um, she she would be just as accessible as Dahlia would be. Um, oof. Oh, this is a pain, isn't it? Because they're, uh, they're healing at the end. Uh, potentially adding in uh, a unit like um, Catherine uh, on the back row rather than the Seraphina might be uh, a better option to steal uh, the healing, uh, to apply that, that uh, heal steal. Uh, potentially Audrey as well um, to steal all of the healing there as well. Might be something to take into consideration. Let's go ahead and skip and just see how long it's going to take. 11 rounds. So it wasn't so bad. It's just the build-up, I think. Um, so like I said, the, the dragon does build up over time. Uh, and so the uh, dragon scroll, this artifact here, will apply that to all of your um, all of your units. If you want to see full breakdown of the team, um, of the teams that I'm using, 
uh, you can go ahead and have a look at the first video that I posted. So that'd be Hell Bond Five, where I go. Through, it takes about five minutes, and I'll go through the entire team in full. Uh, go and check that out if you would like to see a breakdown of the team. Um, and let's just power through and see how far uh, that we can get with this. So um, this one, Lachesis, a uh, very difficult opponent. Uh, and the reason that she's a very difficult opponent is because she removes all of the buffs that we build up. So on her ultimate, so in round two, she will remove all of the buffs that we have. That's every single one that we've built up um, over the course of uh, this. So uh, Dahlia and... Um, Dali and Dullahan on the front row. Not the most optimal combo, but we do get second trigger. Uh, Dali and Dullahan still on that first row, but we do get uh, Wukong triggering off here as well. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to put in a lot of damage before um, this Lachesis starts to heal. Uh, because if Lachesis does start to heal, um, then Sal's going to get a lot of uh, HP increase. So she will heal him round two. Uh, and we're nearly up to there now, so right, Dina will finish off her attacks. Yeah, Dullahan jumps straight in. We get the double ult uh, and double shield protection there. So not bad. I guess Dahlia on the front row isn't such a bad idea. Um, specifically because uh, she'll be copying uh, the shield effects. So all of these buffs just gonna go. As soon as as soon as the chassis pops off. Yeah. That is a real shame. Real shame. We lose our holy shields, we lose our uh, attack buffs. Still doing relatively high amounts of damage with Wukong uh, because we are picking up all of these buffs as well. So as you can see, doing these swap effects, we're getting the buffs back. Um, you know, but it'll still take time to build up and we'll get that reset every three rounds uh, with Lachesis on the field. As well as the healing she provides can be quite devastating and quite difficult to fight against. Again, another option for that is to... Um, is to have heal stealers, so Doris, Audrey, or Catherine, uh, to have the, I uh, can't remember what the the name of it's called, um, but effectively, uh, Vital Drain, that's the one. So she, uh, the those units, uh, Audrey, um, Catherine, and uh, Doris, all apply the Vital Drain effect. Uh, if you have Audrey's red runes, then she will steal 100% of healing received from all enemies, which is very powerful effect, uh, especially the way that she builds up. Um, she'll build up very, very quickly, uh, especially in uh, high difficulty content like this. Um, that can be, oh, come on, don't give me all those misses. What the? Okay, so we've got Sal and Dahlia on the front row. Uh, we should start to see Sal build up a lot more. So he is doing, you know, sort of uh, 7 million with his basic, now 1,000 million with his basic. Uh, and that's every time uh, he attacks, he'll start to build up. So he'll get that healing. Uh, and there you go, another thousand million on his basic. Uh, out damaging Dullahan on his ultimate. So, very powerful effect. And we'll just see what sort of damage we're outputting here as well. So we do get the double swap. No crit, unfortunately. Again, no crit. Yeah, so Sal started to build up here. And if we got to, say, round 10, that's where we'll see all of the, um, that's where we'll see all of the damage. So another miss, and then triggers Wukong. So as you can see, if we were doing crit damage, very, very powerful. But lost a lot of the buffs uh, that we've been building up over time. So you can see Sal building up quite quickly again. Uh, all those damage and attack stacks going on. I don't think we'll have uh, too much of an issue here. 
uh, specifically because Wukong is doing 30 million on basic, which is just silly numbers. Um, so when uh, Lachesis does uh, remove all buffs, I do not believe um, that Sal loses those buffs either. Or the, the build-up of attack. So uh, with regards to uh, his runes, uh, he will gain, like I said, uh, 10 or 20% respectively. Uh, and I don't think that he loses um, those uh, when Lachesis does her ultimate so we'll just see who switches with who this time round. Gord triggers and we'll get a couple of uh, hits in with Wukong. Oh, perfect. Ah, oh, come on. Give me a hit. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, 127 million. And that's only going to go up now that he's on the same row. Um, now, I do have the uh, Elysian Slate up to Mythic, as you saw there. Um, so that's why, as you can see, Wukong here um, does have the, the symbol below. And I don't think uh, that he will lose that. I think it's up to 99 rounds. Um... So Sal here, getting a couple of kills in. Unfortunately, we do lose a lot of the buffs that we've just uh, we've just gained. Oh, come on. And restores back to 100% health. Come on, what the... Yeah, okay. That's better. We're doing much more damage now. Doing 38,000 per basic. I think we should be able to finish this off quite quickly. Now that Wukong is properly built up. And he's got his uh, Mystic Fountain. Um, yeah, so even, even Talos there. Uh, doing, doing a lot. Doing, putting the work in. But really Wukong here doing the most damage. Like Sal's up to 13,000 uh, 13, million for his basic. Just got nothing on Wukong. Really doesn't. Like... <laughs> yeah, Wukong don't even have any red runes. It's just silly. Um, just silly. So we're up to health seven. Let's go ahead and skip this. So that was five rounds that we we're able to get through. That team we've seen a million times before. You know, um, it is what it is. Let's see if anybody else has used Wukong to get through. So no, Mavis. Uh, Mavis being quite a, um, a well, a very good unit, I would say. No, nobody else seems to be using Wukong at the moment. So let's keep going. Um, let's just see how far we can take this. This is Hell 8. Now, this team um, is slightly different in that there are now three Phantoms on here. You just need to uh, keep building up over time. You need to survive for long enough um, so that your team are effectively one-shotting enemies uh, at the end of this so we'll, we'll see that uh, build up over time um, but that's the that's the key with the phantoms you just need to be doing outputting more damage than they can recover um, same with uh, the healing units like we saw last time you know there was a lot of health and the the enemies did recover to full health and double gourd trigger here so we get uh, four swings with wukong Oof, two misses, not bad. Maybe that's why the accuracy rate was in there. Um, just to make sure that Wukong is hitting with every attack, because it is a very powerful effect. So as you can see here, uh, still doing relatively uh, low amounts of damage compared to what we were seeing previously. But it's because we're, we're building up again, you know. So again, we'll, we'll look to... So he, he just builds up so quickly on this team. He just builds up so quickly, like... I get it, 3,893 million is not super high damage. I mean, it might be, it might be to some people. Well, that's what I would expect, so 108 million, you know, 170 million. And that there is, we'll see how much Wukong is doing at the moment. Okay, so it's not bad. And it's because, I think it's because he's not switching with Dahlia at the moment. 
kind of need um, either Sal or Wukong to be on the same row as Dahlia in order to build up properly. Um, yes, yeah, so we're getting these misses in, getting these hits in. So Sal 109 million for his uh, super, uh, sorry, his, uh, his basic attack. Again, he is a slow burning unit, whereas Wukong just seems to be super speedy all the time 24 7 builds up very quickly um, in this particular um, synergy now it's something that you've you've got to keep in mind it is only it, wukong looks really impressive he looks really impressive but it is thanks to the seasonal buffs that are providing that support network if there was a, a synergy dedicated to wukong um like the Elysian synergy, if that was introduced into the normal game, Wukong would become as good as he is now. Um, but because he doesn't have this support in place outside of seasonal content, he's only going to be as good as um, the team that you're on. So if you've got, uh, you know, um, so a two, oh, sorry, a seven, seven star copy of Wukong, and he's on the um, the Ethereals team. He's only got to be as good as your Ethereals team. If you, if your Ethereals team are finishing off, um, finishing off units so they can kill one of the enemy units, then Wukong is going to be quite effective on that team. Potentially is with the Gord. The Gord is uh, another, another um, tool uh, to increase the effectiveness of Wukong. Now Dahlia on the front row. Yeah, so this is what I mean. If, if our buffs were being doubled right now, so you can see, you know, max HP, max HP, attack, all of those get doubled, then it gets, it, it's going to get out of hand. It really is. It's going to get absolutely mental. And Wukong here, the only one who's not hit the Mystic Fountain yet. So we'll just see. Hopefully Wukong can perform his, uh, his normal attack or his ultimate attack within this circle. So he'll stay where he is for now. Um, so that we can start getting that buff built up. So it looks like Sal to... Ah, shame. Yep, oh, just stay where you are. Just stay where you are, Wukong. Not there. Oh, no. Yep, yep, yep. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't move. We need to change rounds with you in there. Please, just don't move. <sighs> We just need him in that slot. Everybody else has got the buff. Everybody else got that buff. We just need Wukong to get that buff. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Right, let's um let's jump into the next one. I think I think this is gonna be absolutely glorious when we start killing the enemies and we start doing enough damage to take them all out. So Sal here doing two thousand mil it's it's just not enough. And like Wukong here, he's not been on the same row as Dali. I think this is a bit of an unlucky run. Especially with the gourd. We did get there, but it took us 12 rounds. So let's go ahead and skip that one. Um, and we'll go ahead and skip this one as well. We've still got another two to go. Um, so we've got nine and we're going to do ten. And what I'll do is I'm going to break down ten. Um, just to show off uh, what we're going to do. We'll let it play out. So we can go ahead. That was round 14. Um, so we're not doing anywhere near as much damage as we were previously. Um or the units, or the enemy units are getting much, much tougher. In this one, round five because of Atrops, 100% because of Atrops. It says Seraphina here, but it is 100% because of Atrops. Um, now, Persephone will provide the Fortitude effect. So if we want to counter this, we could pop the Chessis in, um, we could pop uh, Talinas uh, in, or we could pop Franz in, who will dispel that Fortitude effect. Um, so potentially it might be worth it. Let's go ahead and see what other people are using. So for this one, looks like, yep, same team, except we take out uh, Wukong and we take out Dahlia. And instead, we pop in uh, Mavis and we put in um, Lachesis instead. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Lachesis and Mavis, people were using that team uh, to get through. Um, yeah, so Lachesis and Mavis being the key in this one to remove the Fortitude effects and to remove the Holy Shield Let's go ahead and try that now. We've we've seen enough of those two. Let's go ahead and pop Mavis in. We'll pop the Chessis in this front row. We'll keep things the same. Um, 
we do have this is uh, as as good as we're going to get for relic wise uh, and we'll jump in with the same team on the second one again this this the second team it's it's not anything that we need to write home about it is pretty standard um, and that that second team can be used to run through the entirety of this event I, I don't think there's a mission on here that it would fail maybe potentially against uh, Solomon or the Solomon boss where he, he binds all of the units that one potentially might be an issue um, but the rest of them you can just sail through with that second team this first team um, you probably can do the same but it's a bit hit and miss it is like, like I said it's all all seems to be RNG um, Yes, we get those buffs. Fortunately, there's no enemy Lachesis on here either. Um, so just something to keep in mind. That we won't be seeing that uh, attack uh, removal or all of our buff removals. Um, to get the fortitude effect. Oh, and there is three strikers on this team as well. I didn't notice that before. So we, they do lose all of their buffs, uh, which hopefully should uh, allow us to start doing much more damage. Uh, they also lose the fortitude effect when that kicks in. But we also have Mavis. When Mavis attacks, um, she will dispel that fortitude effect. So just so it's keep in mind. And Wukong here to double ult, of course. Um, and it's not bad. 2,000 million on his first go. Uh, no crit for Sal, so no second super, unfortunately, or no second hit. Oof, and Dali took a big hit there. I think we need to get her uh, on that back row as quickly as possible. She's taunted as well. What a shame. Fortunately, she went, um, we've got higher speed than the enemy, so just something to keep in mind. There is an enemy Persephone as well, um, which means that a secondary fortitude will be applied. Hmm. We do get the healing here. Double shield him. We'll take that. Yeah, he's starting to pick up a bit of traction now, Wukong. Yeah, 17 million, 24, 47. We'll take those. Now we'll see where this gourd goes. If this gourd puts our units in some interesting positions, we'll um, we'll go ahead and uh, see it through. Um, I think I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm just gonna stop. Sort of, uh, in in a minute. We'll see, we'll get an extra minute of Wukong um, and just see if he can finish him off. Because he is doing significant damage, uh, but we didn't really get um, we didn't get Dahlia on this this back row, and she's taken a lot of flak. Um, she does have a lot of HP, um, as you can see, HP goes up, as does Mavis's, and we do get the the full heal uh, as well from the Chessis, remove any buffs that they might have. But she's not putting in you know sort of the damage numbers that we're used to at the moment. We'll see what Wukong does here. It's only 10, 11 million. Hmm. Same. Hmm. So we'll see this attack play out, uh, and then I think, yeah, we've, we've, I think we've seen enough uh, from Wukong. He's doing 45 million. We'll see how far it goes. So, yeah, it's so around 11. Wouldn't have been able to finish um, in time. So we'll skip through this one as well. We've seen it before. Round 10 for this one. So the enemies are getting much tougher. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, and then here, uh, let's go ahead uh, and finish the video. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do have any questions, any queries, um, please do let me know uh, down below. Uh, if you're stuck on a particular mission or you want some help, 
uh, then just let, just you know comment down below uh, and I'll do what I can. I'll point you in the right direction. Um, uh, if you can like and subscribe to the video, be really or to the channel, be really appreciated. Trying to grow the subscriber base to 500 and then to 1,000. Can only do that if you hit that subscribe button. So subscribe if you want some more content. Thank you very much for watching, and you have a great day.